Okay, we're picking back up from just the first part of the video where we show our finished painting. So this is a, basically a touch-up video. We're showing how in the studio you can touch up your uh, paintings, you can add to them, you can uh, maybe subtract a few things or hide a few things or make a few changes here and there, minor changes, once you're done doing the main portion of your painting. So uh, a lot of times you'll hear artists say, like professional artists all the time, <clears throat> you'll hear them mention how they like to underfinish their paintings and then they can always do a little bit of touch-up in the studios, in their studios. In this way, um, uh, sometimes an underfinished painting might look a little better than maybe over adding too many details. Uh, overworking a painting can sometimes uh, take a really, really good painting and make it look very um, uh, chaotic or tired or uh, it just looks too uh, overworked and uh, overstressed on things. So let's avoid that. Let's underfinish our paintings a little bit and then let's do some touch ups. So this is the video here. We're going to touch up this boat painting I did. Um, I did this a while back actually on one of the videos uh, we did right here on this channel. And uh, actually what we're going to do is just add in some uh, blue and green uh, water colors onto this uh, area here. And then maybe we'll add some sand colors over here. So this would be like low tide in a nice area here where we have um, a little bay, um, a little inlet where at low tide maybe there's a little bit of sand uh, left. And then once the high tide comes in, it lifts up the boats and so forth. So this is the kind of feel we have right here, right now, with just the sand and no water, really. Maybe a touch of water. Let's add more water to this so we can change this painting right now, make it, let's say, uh, starting to fill with water. Um, so we're going to just uh, make sure that we get some clean, fresh water. So we will get our container. Fresh, clean water we'll start out with so we get some really beautiful transparent blues and greens for our water coming into our uh, inlet here along our seawall we have our beautiful boats and um, this is really enjoyable to add a, a bit of um, interesting colors and water into this painting it's fun the majority of the painting is already complete so that's all completed it feels like we're already this feels like we're finishing up our painting now so less stress you're just kind of doing the last few minute things and getting things uh, done here. So uh, what I'm going to do is use some uh, greens and blues. So it's not so important what colors I mix here so much. Um, I'm just going to use like uh, cerulean blue and uh, French ultramarine blue. So use any blues you like. I'm using some Viridian green. And the, the main idea here I like to kind of capture is um, definitely blues and greens, maybe a little bit of raw umber mixed in there too for some variation. And the idea here I'm going to go with is, um, is line, I'm going to do parallel lines here. I'll use a tissue to dry off my brush before I go back in. I'm going to leave a little bit of the shoreline white back there. And again, I'm mixing my colors around. So here I added in some of the raw umber and uh, cerulean blue there to the uh, cobalt blue and viridian green. So use, use all your blues and greens really. You could use any of your blues and greens. I wouldn't use any um, chromium of oxide, that's a little bit dull for water, water is more transparent, but what I am going for is the look of uh, lines. I want the lines to, this painting has a lot of stripes or lines as you can imagine. So if we do that with our water, that's going to look interesting. some viridian green here. I 
I'll leave a couple bits of white paper across the top of this over here. This uh, other ro uh, small rowboat behind here. And I'm painting right up to the pencil lines over here. You can't really see it. I'm, I'm out of the picture a little bit here. Let me see if I can zoom back a little bit. There we go. So I'm just pa uh, painting up to that pencil line over here. But I am trying to capture that feeling of the water coming around, the lines, those brush strokes of the lines coming through. So we have some green and blue. Coming through this way. So now we have a really nice feel for some sand and some water in this painting and I think it really does you notice I left plenty of white paper maybe a little bit of waves some waves and little bits of light on the uh, water over here and uh, more water here And maybe some over here too. We're going to have some more water over here. Cobalt blue, French ultramarine blue, uh, so verdian green. So along the seawall here. And then I'll get some more Viridian Green to add into that. So I'm trying to mix all my colors around too. So I'm kind of trying to get all of the colors I used here. Cobalt Blue, French Ultramarine Blue, Viridian Green, uh, Cerulean Blue. I try to take all those blue cool colors as well as a little bit of uh, raw umber. I did add a little bit of raw umber here and there. just to uh, put a little bit of warmth into the cools, the greens and the blues. And uh, this tends to make this painting even more interesting. It looks interesting with the lights and the shadows. And And if we just uh, kind of have the idea of the water flowing, so we make our brush strokes the same way. We flow the water just, of it, just the same as if it's coming into this inlet here. We're going to pretend our brush is going to flow the same way the water does. So it's going to flow this way. It's flowing this way. We started out going this way. The water going this way, around and around, and like this. So if we just keep doing that, that gives us the impression that the water is coming in this way, the same way we're using our brush strokes. So if we're using our brush strokes the same way the water is moving, we're going to get a better um, interpretation of water coming into the um, scene. And then if we want to, um, we might add a little bit of orange and uh, maybe some golden orange, so maybe some orange and some yellow ochre, and maybe we'll put a little bit of like a sand color over here. So I'll use my yellow ochre, just a very, very light touch of that over here on this shoreline. And that gives us the color of like a beach sand color, you know, like that golden color of the beach sand. That's a beach across the way here. Maybe there's people over there enjoying a nice time swimming and whatever. And uh, over here though, this is the focal point, the boats and the seawall and there's a, maybe a business up here they're doing 
maybe this is a boat um, boat slip over here and this is a marina and all kinds of interesting stuff you have going on in this scene but again the fun part is when you're completed with a painting you can always reserve the right to um, go in and do a few more details you might think of something later someone might make a comment about your painting actually someone made a comment when I did this original video and said wouldn't it look nice with some water in this scene and I, I agreed with them I thought that was a great idea so that's why I've added this in to make it even more interesting and um, I like the idea of the other white paper here because you, you get to see those real powerful shadows but I have to agree a little bit of water in here like this puts more color into this scene more interest you're, you're getting more of the feel of water versus maybe just some some sand over here and I think we have everything looking good if you see some areas that maybe we can maybe make it more smooth looking so I'll do that I'll just smooth out some of these lines like that can take a tissue and smooth it out a little bit some of the brush strokes Okay, so this is a fun thing you can do when you're done with your paintings, under finish them a little bit and then go back in a couple days or a week or two later or even months later if you find some paintings and you go back in and you have some paintings that have been sitting in a file or in a box or uh, you have them pinned up on the wall and you take them back down again and you say maybe I can add a few things to them and this is what we do. We, As artists, you're the artist, you can take some of your paintings that you haven't maybe fully finished and finish them up, add a few more details, a few more colors, a couple more interesting uh, subject matter to your paintings once you're you know finished to make them look a little better and this one here I think we improved we made it look better with some more colors the ocean colors the water coming into this uh, inlet here where the boats are and I hope you enjoyed this video and again if you haven't subscribed please subscribe right down there on the right hand side down here where the red button is if you hit subscribe That'll be great. You'll get new videos like this every week. We're covering all subject matters, but everything is always watercolor here. So this is your go-to channel for watercolor. Um, have fun. Keep coming back. Uh, enjoy the channel. Get as much information as you can. Take notes. Have fun with it. I appreciate all the great comments everyone leaves uh, on a weekly basis. And um, I learn a lot from them. And um, again, a great comment that came in about this painting in particular. We did a couple weeks ago about adding some water in there great idea we did it and now you can see how we really made this painting look even more exciting and better by just taking it and thinking about it a little bit and coming up with a game plan and then adding in some beautiful water effects so we'll see you next time everybody happy painting and uh we'll see you in just a few bye bye